What's up guys welcome back to Tech Phantom and in today's video we'll be taking a deep comparison between the newly launched MediaTek Dimensity 9200 against the current flagship processor from the Qualcomm which is the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. Now the MediaTek Dimensity 9200 has been the world first in many of its ways. Let's find out in this video in this in-depth comparison and how much better is the Dimensity 9200 is. So if you are new here then do consider subscribing to our channel Tech Phantom and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update from us. Also to get to know more about the comparison videos with the MediaTek Dimensity 9200 then let us know in the comment section below and we'll definitely try to make a video on them. So let's get started. The very first thing starting off with the launch date of both of these processors in the Snapdragon was launched in the mid of the 2022 whereas the Dimensity has been launched in November 2022 so it's the latest one too. Well moving forward with the CPU architecture then both of these processors are indeed an octa-core. It's not been specified for the Dimensity 9200 but for Snapdragon it's the Cryo 680. Well talking about the CPU cores and how actually the does the performance goes then it has one powerful core of 3 gigahertz in the snapdragon 8 plus gen 1 with the four power efficiency cores of 1.8 gigahertz well the scenario between the dimensity is on the bit of a different side as the mediatek dimensity 9200 comes with a one core of 3.05 gigahertz cores which is a bit better and also the efficiency cores and the rest of the cores are almost similar. The average performance cores are better but the power efficiency cores are similar. Now talking about the processor fabrication and the size of the processor that both of these processors comes with a 4 nanometer architecture which means they are equally power optimized and not only that moving forward again with the other thing which is the GPU performances then the Snapdragon 8 plus gen 1 comes with the Adreno 730 whereas the MediaTek Dimensity comes with the Mali G715 Immortal S MC11 which is the latest from the Dimensity and talking about the machine learning and AI that again the Qualcomm comes with the Qualcomm in the homemade Qualcomm Spectra and whereas the MediaTek comes with the 6th gen APU well the maximum RAM support again the Dimensity leads over here with a Massive RAM support as the overall in the Snapdragon you get a LPDDR5 RAM whereas in the MediaTek it's been upgraded to 24 gigabytes of RAM with LPDDR5X and against the frequency is also been increased. Well the maximum display support again here also the MediaTek performs better as the Snapdragon comes with a 4K at 60 FPS and maximum resolution but the MediaTek Dimensity can go up to 5K at 60 FPS and you can also go at uh, WQHD plus resolution at 144Hz which is again insane. Now talking about the cameras then again with the cameras both of these processors we know that how does the camera department right now goes on and we have a 200 megapixel of single shooter or 64 megapixel of dual camera or the 28 megapixel of a triple camera with the Snapdragon 8 plus gen 1 but a MediaTek comes with a single camera of maximum resolution of 320p megapixels now we have not seen a camera with a 220 megapixels but let's wait and how the future holds. Now talking about the video compatibility then the Snapdragon comes with a 8K at up to 30 FPS, 4K at 120 FPS. Now again the media density also performs almost similar to the video shooting compatibilities. Well again the Bluetooth is again something new which we are going to see in the world first processor with the density as it comes with a Bluetooth 5.3 which is the latest one now. Yes the Bluetooth 5.2 is now in yesteryear's thing and the 5.3 is the new one. Well the 5G modem is not being specified on the Dimensity 9200 if we get to know about that we will mention that in the link in the description below. Also about the Wi-Fi again the Dimensity comes with Wi-Fi 7 and not the Wi-Fi 6e which we have seen for the couple of years. Well talking about the quick charge then Snapdragon 8 plus gen 1 come with a quick charge 5 and for the Dimensity is not being specified but it is supported that it can support fast charging up to 210 watts. Now the unto 2 scores are again going to be crazy numbers we are talking in lakhs so it's 10.3 lakhs for the Snapdragon 
8 Gen 1, whereas the 12.6 for the Devon City processor. Now, the Geekbench scores a bit of a confusion one as the Snapdragon leads for single core by 2% at 1310, whereas the multi core of 4150. Well, now the Dimensity leads the multi cores at the by 20% when compared to Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 at 4600. Overall, the MediaTek has really proven its gold and proven its metal that it is indeed one of the good processors now you can consider and rely on as a flagship processor. Usually, we see a MediaTek processor in the mid range department only. But with a MediaTek Dimensity 9200, this thing is definitely going to change for the time being until we see the Snapdragon Summit and we see the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor. Now what are your thoughts on these processor and which smartphone are you planning to buy if you consider the both of these processor smartphone. The Vivo X90 will be the very first phone to ship with Dimensity 9200. So you can also find the link to this video for the Vivo X90 in the description below and you can also hit that subscribe button to stay updated for all the tech related videos. If you like this video then give this video a thumbs up thumbs down based on your opinion and I'll see you in the way next one. Thanks for watching.